camp, I blame you. This is a really a very a strange purchase for me because I'm not one to shoot telephoto, but before I switched to Sony, I was gonna buy the Sigma 150 to 600 for the 5D. Didn't buy that lens, and so now I just bought this one. You never shoot telephoto. Oops! Yeah, it is a big ass lens. Ass lens. It's not as big as the boxes, thank God. I was like, this is not gonna fit in any of my camera bags. I measured. Oh my God, what a beef monster. Jesus Christ. I've never had a lens this big before. That's a big ass cap, ass, ass cap. cap. I don't know how to shoot telephoto, but she's about to learn. Um, I'm pumped, I'm excited to add this to my kit. Um, I shoot wide all of the time, 24, 16, 12 sometimes, I love it. And at camera camp, I was like really into the 70 to 200. But then I wanted like a telephoto that had a wide range. My 200 millimeter Canon lens is just like not long enough. So I thought, fuck it, 200 to 600. It's very heavy. You have to pump some iron to carry that around. I know, I'm gonna need to do mine and Donna's in camera camp workout. So we're gonna go shoot some photos. I don't even know, I'm overwhelmed. And I'm sweating. And I'm wearing, is Harris's new merch? Feelings. Feelings, I do. I have feelings about this and I have feelings about how much I'm sweating right now. Let's go. Feelings about this beef jerky right now. Mm-hmm. Mm, that one's a tender piece. With a name like Sweet Baby Ray's, you know it's gonna be good. Camping. <laughs> this is luxury compared to Cold Island. Yeah. It's warm out, it's not windy, it's not raining. It's a bit wet out there. We have electricity. Electricity. No near a mattress. I have a story to tell you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it. It's gonna be a bedtime story. But first, the reason why we're camping in the backyard tonight. Originally it was because we were gonna break out the 200 to 600 and shoot some photos. But um, it's fall now and it gets dark at seven o'clock. So we kind of missed the mark for shooting with the telephoto lens tonight. But we're having a little date at the same time, a tent sleepover, cause well, can't really go anywhere. So. Let's get some lights out there. Okay. How about a little ambiance? Bonjour. Bonjour. That's a nice little vibe, isn't it? A little bit of mood. All right, campsite tour. Campsite tour. We have our tent, mm -hmm. but above here we have some string lights that we just set up. How long have you had them? Uh, a few weeks. I thought you were gonna say we've had them for like years. You're thinking about the other lights that we sold in our last house that we've had for a few years that look just like these ones. Right, because we sold our house. We did sell our house. And by the time people watch this, it should have closed. Yay. Jean. Well, Jean, we're in the tent. Um, <laughs> it's a beautiful night. I feel like this might be our last opportunity to camp outside because it's so warm. We've been talking about doing this all summer, actually since June, and we just like kept putting it off and then it was way too hot to camp outside. And tonight it's perfect. I don't know, what is it, like 20 degrees right now? Hey Siri, what is the temperature? It's 19 degrees. That's like 70 degrees. How they see you're not wearing um, pajamas. Pajamas is an illusion. Your face is an illusion. Well, Chris is out setting up a time lapse of the stars because I told him that he has to do that. Any of you quick tent tour. A light up here, this is the same light we used when we were doing Cold Island. We got the bloom thingy over there. Glare ups, of course. We got the laptop because we're gonna watch a movie later. Here, this Omni charge, portable battery, and with two plugs in it for our phones to charge them up tonight. Tonight's camp spot features two sleeping bags. It's two awesome camp wraps quilted. If you haven't heard me talk about those, then you need to listen to the podcast, which is in the description. We've got two real pillows and a real air mattress that's like thick. So we're, we're sleeping well tonight. Hopefully tomorrow morning, we're gonna be able to get up and peep that wildlife and maybe peep them leaves. So we'll see what happens. That's kind of it. How are you doing out there? I'm setting up the shot. It's not very good though, because there's a big, there's a bright moon out. Oh, what's your camp story? Does it involve ghosts? You uh, told me it was ghost a ghost story. Of, no, it's more of a ghost of a turd maybe. <laughs> 
was probably about like 10, 12 years old. I was friends with my neighbors. We used to have these tent sleepovers all the time, kind of like what we're doing tonight. You bring your pillow and your sleeping bags and your comfies and stuff, and then also chips. And that's my story. No, just kidding. We're in the tent and the skeety guy used to live next door to my friend, so... They're not going to know what it is. Skeet means very different things to very different people. Skeet, now. Definition of a skeet. Skeet, okay. now. This is probably from Urban Dictionary or something. And the skeet had just gotten a brand new puppy who was super cute. He was a little tiny puppy, a but what? a puppy. Okay. A puppy, but he was rambunctious as so we're in the tent. The skeet neighbor lets the dog out for a dump. We're in the middle of having our chips and our laughs and we're hanging out in the tent. Hold, hold, hold. Stand by for a second. You had chips in your tent? Yeah, well, there's no... Why were, why, why were you breaking your own rules? So listen, back to my story. So we're in the tent and we're enjoying our chips. Suddenly, the f***ing door, like, rips open. This puppy, like, jumps through the door into the tent, running all over the place rakes his ass across my friend's pillow with the white white cushion cover on it big ass skid mark <laughs> and Jesus. the and the dog left and we were just like <laughs> like 13 years old this huge skid mark on my friend's pillow anyway, i did not know that story you didn't know that story no oh my god well there's a brand new story that you never heard before wow. which is very rare in this relationship very rare so it was like a ghost of a turd mm -hmm. left on the pillow skid mark <laughs> Well, I think it's going to be time to cozy up and yeah, we'll see, I guess, in the morning what time we wake up and uh, what kind of shots we're going to get. Good night. They're like flying trumpets. <laughs> They've been squawking and honking all morning and all night. All in all, I mean, it was a nice night. There was no wind. It was comfortable. It was warm. Way better than... <laughs> last time. You know, people choose to do this even when they're not stranded on a rock because of fog. I can see why. It's nice. I think we should try it sometime. Okay. I mean, we have all of the things to do it. Yes. And we've done it out of necessity. I think we could do it. Now it's time because I went in and I had the luxury of having a kettle inside. And now I made some coffee. Oh, and you made me some tea. Okay. The whole point of this video was to, to test out the 200 to 600. Now, we've had the 200 to 600 for almost a year, and I've used it. <laughs> you probably be, even have seen shots from it, but today we're going to actually use it again. Well, I'm gonna get ready because Chris just said that he saw two fox, so. I noticed that you had your Sony camera camp shirt on under that. <laughs> I just wanna say, in the focus group sessions that they did with us, like this isn't sponsored, no, but they're asking us to, as I turn on the electronic image stabilization on this, I remembered that that was one of the features that I told them that I wanted. I wanted something that was better than just the OSS. And I also mentioned that I wanted 422 color as well as 10 bit bit depth. So I'm not saying that this camera has all that because of me, but I'm just saying you can say thank you in the comments below. Um, I'm gonna have a few more sips of my coffee and then I'm gonna go out and have brows and see if I can see in the box. You'll see a few pictures if I see anything. Mm -hmm. If not, well... I might just have pictures of like, me. <laughs> through the tent. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a cheap tent. Yes. <laughs> people made fun of our tent on Cold Island, you know? Did they? The people who actually know about tents are like, oh my god, that tent does not match the helicopter. <laughs> well, we already spent the money on the Yeti cooler, so shut up. Holes in it already. <laughs> I had to tape it with gaff tape last night. Photos that you just saw were, some of them were shot today and some of them were shot on other days with the 200 to 600, but they were still with the 200 to 600. For whatever reason, none of the wildlife wanted to come out today. I was expecting woodpeckers since I'm yelling at them every day out the window. No woodpeckers showed up. Sometimes there's foxes, there were no foxes. There weren't even any blue jays. There's blue jays all the time. I guess the leaves are falling and everyone wants to, I don't know, go to sleep like me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I also did not get that great a night of sleep. Same, same. It was comfortable. It was warm. It was so cozy and warm. But I kept sliding off of my bed and then waking up and crawling back to the top. I kept on hearing noises and then <laughs> thankfully this air conditioner that's on right now that's noisy in the background wasn't on. It's like white noise. Yeah.
yeah we're gonna end it here i hope you guys enjoyed this really strange weird video but it was fun spanning to, multiple years yeah but it was span it was spanning it was fun to sleep in the tent last night i've never ever camped in like warm climate before i always every anytime we've ever slept in tent it's been on cold island or like a tent sleepover back in newfoundland where it like drops to five degrees celsius in the middle of the night even in the middle of the summer and with a name like cold island your nose is cold she was cold all right well anyway i i'm gonna take this down because i need tea i got a headache i want to go to bed i'm tired if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe so you know if i post new videos <gasps> we'll see you on the next one bye Shooting at ISO 409,600. I'm on manual focus for the stars right now, and I can actually see in a dark sky stars. Oh, hi there. I'm being lit by the LCD screen. <laughs> I had Sweet Baby Rays on the package, so I decided to get it. You can't resist some Sweet Baby Rays. Man, I'm gonna need to start lifting. It's like a bowl of cereal. Like, you can eat cereal out of this. <laughs> I can go to sleep in any clothes. Remember when I used to come home from work? And I have a tie, a shirt and tie on, dress pants on, and I would just go right to sleep. Clutching a different big white lens. Yeah. Camera. Yeah. The mythical A7S III. I know. Well, we <laughs> got that lens before Christmas last year and shot the beginning of this video in like January. <laughs> Wait, is that January 2019 or January 2020? 2020. Okay. Because we were going to go shoot with it and then like we just like started raining that day and then just didn't.